Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's episode of Rundown. Now, as you know, we are deeply entrenched in college football season. Long gone are the days of the dark horses in the Heisman race. So, who are the top four candidates? We're about to tell you. Roll that music. All right, guys, so as I said, we are deep into college football season. We are at the place where there are four pretty clear candidates for the Heisman. I mean, some things could change with the last few weeks, but let's start at the bottom and work our way to number one. At number four, Bryce Petty of the Baylor Bears. If you've been watching college football, you would know that there is a deep, heated race for numbers three and four in the BCS standings. As it stands now, the Ohio State Buckeyes are number three. Baylor is number four. Now, everyone wants to say that Baylor is hot on the Buckeyes' heels and blah, blah, blah. I have made the decision that I am, in this episode, not going to be that fan, and I'm going to give Baylor and Bryce Petty the time and attention that they deserve in this segment. Number three on the list that just happened, is Marcus Mariota from the Oregon Ducks. Now, Marcus was actually heavily favored and sitting around number one until the Ducks went tumbling down the BCS standings when they lost to Stanford. Marcus is now three, and I will say a distant three at that. So who's one and two? Well, number two is a name that should be familiar to you if you have watched this show from, from its inception. That's a tongue twister. Say it three times fast. Uh, Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football, last year's Heisman winner. Now, he has actually been just steeped in controversy in the offseason, but has come out and done relatively well for the Aggies. Now, if I'm saying all that, you're probably like, well, gee whiz, Danielle, why is he number two? If you talk like that, we should be friends. Uh, he's number two because they have two losses, and he has thrown 11 interceptions, and this season isn't over. Plus, number one is just really freaking good. So who's number one? Uh, number one is the quarterback for Florida State University, and that is Jameis Winston. Now, let's back up. And this is why I love college football. Jameis Winston, uh, we didn't even talk about him in the beginning of this whole, like, speculation of who's going to win the Heisman. No, hmm, wasn't on my radar, really probably anyone else's, until Florida State came, like, just stampeding on the scene when they pounced the Clemson Tigers. And, yes, I did that intentionally because Clemson, Tiger, pounce. See what I did there. Uh, Florida State is ranked number two in the BCS standings. Let's be honest. I think that they should be ranked number one, but who am I to unseat Alabama? Whatever. Anyways, Jameis is ridiculous. He's a freshman. He has just been cool, calm, and collected the whole season. I've watched a ton of interviews with him. He just looks like he's having so much fun out there. Now, haha, because every good story has a plot twist, here in comes the asterisk in this whole conversation. There are uh, pending possible legal allegations floating around out there. This is where things get tricky because you don't wanna see something get swept under the rug, but you also don't wanna see someone targeted because they're having success. I have no idea how it's gonna shake out. I will tell you this. If he is charged uh, due to Florida State regulations, he immediately becomes ineligible, which means no Heisman. Probably no national championship for the Seminoles. We'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a little bit more football left. We're going to see how this Heisman thing shakes out. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you tune in next week for more glorious, glorious rundown action where I will be sure to shamelessly plug <laughs> at least 37 times. It's usually more than that. The producers just cut a lot of them out. So that's going to do it. Make sure you follow us on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. You can tweet me at underscore Daniela Maria. Go Buckeyes.